Welcome to Picket Bill. Let's get to work on this Z. Okay guys, in last week's episode, we got a lot accomplished, got the front fenders installed, and now we've got to work on getting the rear hatch on here. But first, we've got to work on these rubber seals, so let's get started on that. Okay, what I have here is precision weather stripping kit, and I've got a list of all the different weather strips that I need with the, you know, item number on there. And so we just need to go through all these item numbers and make sure we've got everything matched up for the rear hatch. And we will also have some weather strip adhesive that we'll have to use. Okay, let's gather everything up. Okay, after digging through all my storage bins, I finally found the proper weather stripping for the rear hatch, the window, and the base molding around the rear hatch. We're gonna take a little bit of alcohol. I've got alcohol in this spray bottle and I'm just going to run around this edge and just clean this edge before we start putting adhesive around. The next thing we are going to do is using these clamps with a little plastic protection on them, we are going to take the rubber, the weather stripping and clamp it in all four corners. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I pulled the rubber weather stripping back out and I've got it laid down on the ground and I definitely had put it in wrong or I thought I had it right but there's definitely a longer side and a shorter side but it's very very hard to tell and so it almost looks square so we might have to even stretch it a little bit but I believe that this top side up here is the longest side so we're going to put that on top. Alright let's try this again. One of my clamps didn't work well, so I just finagled a C-clamp in there instead. But we've got all four corners clamped in, and we are going to start on one corner and use the adhesive, and then reclamp it, and then we're just going to work our way all the way around. And as we work our way around, we'll use some masking tape, and just to hold the rest of the weather stripping in place and we'll go all the way around the entire rear hatch area and then we'll let it sit and dry.
Okay, we've got that weather strip put all the way around. I had a little trouble at the top, so I just C-clamped it a little bit. Hopefully that works. And we're just going to let that dry, and then we'll pull all the tape and be ready for installing the rear hatch. Okay, we took everything off, C-clamps, all the tape. This weather strip is feeling good and secure. So our next step is to get the glass onto the rear hatch and then we'll bring the rear hatch out here and get it installed. All right guys, we are set up here with the rear glass and the weather, brand new weather strip for that. And we also have this stringing tool that we'll install into the rubber after we get the weather strip on. Also wanted to show you guys this uh, weather strip lube and we're going to use that to help get the rubber weather strip onto the glass. just going to sleeve this little stringing tool into the weather strip here. Actually, let's turn this windshield upside down. And we'll do it from the top side. Okay, we used this stringing tool and we went all the way around the lip here and that's going to help us on the install. Okay, we got the glass on there. We had to move into the uh, living room where we had a little more leverage on hard ground and we got it. Alright I got the window in and the rear hatch back out here in the shop and I've been looking under up under here where the paint didn't really get in there well enough there's a few just little surface rust areas that we're going to take some POR and a little paintbrush and just touch up those areas under here and that way we just prevent any future rust spots touched up. Uh, just a little tip on this POR. I mean this stuff, I probably should have been wearing gloves. If you get it on your fingers or skin, it's almost impossible to get off. And, uh, and so anyway, I'm trying to be very careful not to get any of this paint on any of this uh, outside paint job here. And uh, as far as the paintbrush, I, I just threw it away. Just dispose of it. You're just wasting thinner trying to clean that paintbrush anyway with this stuff. Alright, let's let that dry and then we're going to come back and start putting the pieces together and then get this on, installed on the car. So I pulled out all the old parts to this rear hatch. I had some of the stuff baggied up and labeled and some of the other stuff I just had convenient and then also the hydraulic hinges and we're just going to give everything a good degreasing and clean up before we put it all back on. Get 
the roof so I can climb on that. Right? That's it for this week. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Blech.